we can see that they are even more trusted by the divine couple in their coming and going through their private lilas of Kunjavilas than Lalita or Vishaka. Is Gurdiv still here? Gurdiv? I think they have been kicked out, huh? Radhe Radhe Gurudev? Can you hear me? Yeah, we okay. fell out for a second. You can okay. Well, continue. Okay. Because I would I repeat this line. Because of their steadiness and fixation in the mellow of service, we can see that the mantaris are even more trusted by the divine couple in their coming and going to their private places of Kuncha Vilas. Recording meaning, the meaning the Lilas and the Kunchas, then the Saki is like Sri Lalita. Again, again, please. Sure, sure, sure. sure, sure. Something with the tone is not. Yeah. yeah. Um, because of their steadiness. The steadiness. Why I say this? This is the Tarnam. Is is our son. His spiritual life, his steadiness is our son. Yeah. But because of their steadiness and their fixation in the mellow of service. Mellow of service. And this mellow of service, your... What is the first word? Steadiness. No. Art or what? Art. Art. Start from Chitta Virti. Not in Manavirti. Chitta Virti. I am a study in my chitta vritti, Anna. Means I am fixed in my sarup of Iskandar. Or oh, my sarup of is going out and sadak deha is coming. So this steadiness in my sarup of is I said, no, I will say. So I was sitting on bed. Tarun Baba catch you. Yeah, Tarun Baba catch me. So I am listening from distance. Yeah. So that the point. That is steadiness is still ping pong. All problems here. My problem is this. Go on. We can see that they are even more trusted by the divine couple in their coming and going to their private places of Kunjabilas than Sakis like Sri Lalita. Yeah. After that. They are very trusted. After no time how, but they are more trusted. This is the great mercy given to Manjari's. 
<laughs> the purport of this is that all the five kinds of sakis that have been the discussed in the past, they are happy to arrange for Sri Ratarani's meeting with Sri Krishna. And none of them either desire or endeavor to have independent meetings with him. Nevertheless, Sri Radhika sometimes desires to arrange for Sri Krishna to have pastimes with Lalita and the Sakis. Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Lila, Chapter 8. Although the Sakis have no interest in personal union with Sri Krishna, still Radhika carefully arranges for their meetings with him. With different pretexts, she urges Sri Krishna to have intimate pastimes with them, and thus she attains millions of times more happiness than if she would personally be with Krishna. But although the Mancharis are in the class of the Sakis, they never have intimate pastimes with Krishna due to their fixation in pure service attitude. Even if Sri Krishna makes a pass at them, or even if their own leader, Yuteshwari, are eager for them to do so, they never desire personal union with Sri Krishna. In Vrindavan Mahimamrita 60.19.4, we can read, The maidservants who are exclusively devoted to the service of Sri Rata's lotus feet, which are like an ocean of nectar, do not enjoy with Sri Hari even in their dreams. Yeah, oh. Even when Krishna forcibly pulls at their clothes, they cry out, no, no while Radhika watches and laughs. By laughing, Sri Radhika shows that she approves of Krishna's actions. In his Ananda Chantrikatika of Sri Uchvala Linamani, verse 15, Vishwana Chakravati part has written. Although the Sakis are very happy when they can arrange for the meetings of their group leaders with Sri Krishna and do not desire the bliss of personal union with him, still we can generally distinguish two kinds of them. To the first kind belong those who have bodies that are extremely attractive for Sri Krishna because they have more love, more love for Krishna, Krishna Snehadika, beauty and cleverness. And to the second belong those whose body are slightly less attractive to him because they have less love, and more for Radhika. Of them, the first are Lalita and other Parama Prashtasakis, who desire intimate pastimes with Sri Krishna because of the great eagerness of their group leaders. And the second group, the Manjaris, is never eager to meet with Krishna, even if he requests it, and even if their group leaders are eager to accomplish their meetings also. They are 
manjaris like, for example, Kasturi. End of the quote of the Ujwalan in Amani. Now Baba is explaining. The purport of this is that according to the kind and the amount of the devotee's love, the Lord is very eager to taste the flavor of this particular love. The love of the Sams Nehasakis can allow Radhika to agree with their intimate pastimes with Krishna. And the desire to unite with them may also awaken in the heart of Sri Krishna. But now, important, but the love of the Manjaris, who are exclusively fixed in service attitude, will not make them desire to unite with Krishna even in dreams. What to speak in a wakeful state, when they are awake, so to say. Therefore, Sri Krishna will also never desire to have loving pastimes with them. If he regrets it, then it is only an external show <laughs> or done as a joke. It is never real. Sri Rata's efforts to make them have pastimes with Krishna should similarly be seen as an external act or as a mere joke. Because of the complete purity of their hearts and attitude. Very wonderful sentence, Gurudev. Wow, wow. Because of the complete purity of their hearts and attitude, Sri Ratha has accepted the Manjaris as her own self. So that they automatically gain free access to all the places where the divine couple meets and performs pastimes. This is, <laughs> this is the summum bonum of Manjari Bhav, right? Again. Yes. Because of the complete purity of their hearts and attitude, Sri Radhika has accepted the Manjaris as her own self, so that the Manjaris automatically gain free access to all the places where the divine couple meets and performs pastimes. That means only them can be there. Yeah. Oh. Very wonderful, right? Very good. Underlined this one. Yeah. Because the mantras are so dear to Radhika, she allows them to come and go, and she's never shy before. And I love this verse very much. That is never the Nikunja. Kunja, Nikunja, and never the Nikunja, where only mantras can go. The divine couple considers the manjaris to be like the embodiments of their own absorption in their own loving pastimes. Wow. <laughs> because of this exclusive privilege, the manjaris now comes really, really the most wonderful explanation. Because of this exclusive privilege, the Manjaris are situated in the highest position in the kingdom of Prema. Yeah. Un desire for highest Mahabhav Prema means the feeling and highest 
they situated there. They never moved from the as wow. That is shadow, like a shadow. We, we want to be shadow of Mahabhav Radhika. The Gaudiya Vaishnavas perform their bhajan in allegiance to them. This is the unprecedented most merciful gift of Sri Man Mahaprabhu. Now Baba is quoting some uh, very, very wonderful verses of uh, Naratam Das Thakur, prayers of Naratam Das Thakur. And one time Baba has written to read those words, especially from Srila Naratam Das Thakur, is like eating his Mahaprasadam. So very often Baba is including in his own tikas the words of great saints and here like Navaratam Das Thakur to make us sadakas of Manjari Bhav eager to imbibe the contents of these prayers deep within our heart. Sri Rupa Manjari Sara, Sri Radhi Manjari Ara, Labanga Manjari Manjulali, Sri Rasa Manjari Sange, Kasturika Adirange, Prema Seva, Kore Kuto Hole. And now, before we heard that Kasturi Manjari, Rupa Manjari, Radhi Manjari, these are the kinds of Sakis who, who our Manjaris who have much more love and affection, Radhik Sneha. And now Naratam Thakur is praying to them. I will eagerly render loving service with Sri Rupa Manjari, Sri Rati Manjari, Sri Lavanga Manjari, Sri Manjulali Manjari, Sri Rasa Manjari, Kasturika Manjari, and others. Esab Anuka Hoya, Prema Seva Nipo Choya, Inkite Puchipo Sab Khaje, Rupa Gune Dagamagi, Sadahopu Anuragi, Vasati Koripo, Saki Maja. Following all of them, I will beg for devotional service, understanding what to do simply by receiving their hints. Many times Gurudev said that the Manjaris are able to have telepathic instructions from the group leaders and from Radhika. They don't have to speak words. I remember when I was with you, Gurudev, you said this many times, that only uh, one glance can tell the Manjaris what to do. I will always float in the forms and attributes of the divine pair and live amongst the Sakis. Here, of course, he means the Manjaris. Brindavane Duijana. Chatur dike sokikana, samaya bujihi rasa suke, sakira ingita hobe, chamara dulabo kobe, tambula yogabo chanda muke. The divine pair of Brindavan is surrounded by their girlfriends. Understanding the time has come, I will, by the indications of the Sakis, fan them with a whisk fan or place bitter leaves in the moon-like mouth in Rasika bliss. Yukala charana sevi nirantara eibhavi anuragi takipo sadai sadhane bhavi bo yaha sitha dehe Daiho, this is a wonderful line. Sadhana bhavi bo yaha sitha dehe bhabutaha raka patera eise upaya. Now the most important instruction. I will always think about the lotus feet of the Yukala Kishora and I will remain passionately devoted to them. And whatever I think of 
during my practice, I will certainly get in my Sita Deha. What Please. I will practice in our Sadak Deha, I will get in Sita Deha. It's not working that I do something in my Sadak Deha and I will get in Sita Deha. I have to do this practice when I'm in material body that I will receive in my spiritual body. These are the ways of Raganuka Bhakti. Ah, Sri now Baba again. Sri Badraguna Das Goswami says, I will take shelter of these manjaris of Radha, headed by Rupa Manjari. In many ways and in many places, in this book called Shri Shri Stavavali, one can see Sri Raghunathas Goswami speaking of the Seva to the Divine Couple and about Rupa Nukatya Bhajan. All this will become known to us at the proper places. End of Tika, Kurulev. This is the end of the Tika. Yeah. Say something. I have a question. Of course. Uh, yeah. Come to all. Yeah. yeah. Question. So, Raguna Das was Swami from whom he got his uh, Sita Swaru. <laughs> Very good question. So, Raguna Das was Swami actually he has his here he na he names his Diksha Guru. In Vilabhakusa Manjali, he says, my Diksha Guru is Yagunandan Das, uh, 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 Acharya. But actually, his Shiksha Guru is Rupa Goswami. So who now really revealed the Sita there? First of all, you have to understand that Raghunadas Goswami is eternal Parishad of Mahaprabhu. And I don't think that someone... <laughs> maybe you could have, maybe you know this. I think you know this much better, but it is very, very difficult to say who revealed the Sita Dea to Raghunadas Goswami. I think that it was between him and Rupa Goswami. It would be my speculation, but Raghunadas Goswami is an eternal associate of, of Mahaprabhu. The same, would, the same question you can ask who revealed to Rupa Goswami his Sita Dea? For me, these questions are not very much important because they are eternally liberated souls playing the part as sadakas. But actually, who revealed to them? You have to know, you have to ask them. This is my opinion. Good. What would what you say? I want to say. Yes, please. Rupa Anuga means Rupa Goswami give to the devil. Rupa Anuga means we are practicing Rupa Anuga. Uh, first Guru Jadunandan Acharya. Jadunandan Acharya was Brahmin Guru. Yes. This Jadunandan Acharya was just to escape him for Mahaprabhu. Try again and again. Wonderful. When he escaped to go, then he go to see God. Then two time Mahaprabhu send him back. He say, "You are still too early to come." Why he is early to come? Because he come to. Find God, God, and He is not interested of Mahaprabhu to understand. He sent back two times. 
right or not? Hundred percent. Right? Very good. Hundred percent. Then Nityananda Mahaprabhu find this and he punish punish him very heavy. Without my thing, you want to steal. I punish you. And when he punish and he teach him, then again he freely he has to go. <laughs> Jadudandan Asha make him that he can escape out. Yes. And when he escape out, really, then Mahaprabhu accepts him, you see. And then his desire comes for liberation in his life to cut all the opulence what he is doing. Then Mahaprabhu send him to Sarupta. Why? Sakhi, Larita. Now you make the association of Rasika, not philosopher. You want to know me, you have to associate with Sarvadamudra, my Radhika. So here, he know the Radha and Larita. Till up to here, he has the idea of Radha, Krishna and Larita Sakhi. And this, he developed Radha Krishna Bhakti Raisa Sakhi, but he has no idea of Manjari Bhav. And Mahaprabhu himself practiced and he authorized to give to Rupa Goswami. Yes. What Mahaprabhu gave? He gave Gunjamala. And go over the Sila. Why this Gunjamala is Radha and Govardhan is Radha and Krishna. And associate of Krishna live with them. Govardhan only is in Vrindavan, not go out from that. When he come, he want to jump out from Govardhan because he not get the test. He want to die himself. See his pastime. Then again he got, got the help to understand. No, no, this body for bhajan. Then he took shelter in his Manjari Sarup with Rupa Goswami. Yes. Beautiful. Physically, before he is relating and he is teaching, physical relation is one way. You will die again physically, jump out if you will not get it. What happened? We also die. I see many devotees. If physically they are not successful to achieve, they want to die. But physically, how you will go to the spiritual world? My physical plastic body and my senses and my all nonsense, stinking thing can go to the spiritual world. It's impossible. But we can go in a my sarupa, which is spiritually developed thing. So that is important. And he got this mercy with Rupa Manjari. Yes. They are not related, not brother, sister, nothing, no brother, brother, nothing. But they are desire for the 
Radha Rani devotee, they both are Radha devotees. By grace of Chaitanya and Narita. Beautiful, Gurudev. And that way, when they got the Manjari Sarup, then they realized more what Mahaprabhu, Radha, Krishna, Jugal Sarup, and he is also practicing Manjari. He took the mood of Radhika, that is Manjari. What do we do? We took the mood of our Guru. Rupa Goswami following here. Raghunath Das Goswami took the mood of Rupa Goswami. That is follow. following. Following eh, Baba to Anandas Baba, he what? He took the mood of Anandas Baba. If not, then he not follow, no? If I not took the mood of my Radha Govindas Babaji Maharaj, how I follow? Mm. So, taking mood out of Krishna, Krishna of Radha, he took the Mandari of Dasi, servant, and cover of one Dasi is not covered. He goes to home and come back again to work. But this Dasi, Krishna, he cover means he not want to go out from one minute from that. This manjir. This is Chaitanya, Krishna in Chaitanya form. So it's so much bhava is coming to Krishna in Chaitanya more. Because of Manjari of Sadhana, he do in Gambhira. You can see in Gambhira or his Sadhana is in Manjari. Becoming tired sometime, sometime blood is coming, sometime different, different bow is coming. This is Manjari. Means out of body the consciousness. He is not Manjari Bhav. When he goes in his Manjari Bhav, he forgets his body the consciousness. Rupa Goswami also told to, to Raghunath Das Goswami when he came to Radha Kim, hmm. that not only he gave him entrance to Raj Leela as a Manjari, Mm -hmm. But also he said that he cannot leave his body mm -hmm. because he was in Gambira Lila with Mahaprabhu for 16 years. And, yes. And this mood of Mahaprabhu in Gambira Lila was then written down in Chaitanya Charitamrita by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. So the foundation of Chaitanya Charitamrita is on Raguna Das Goswami and Rupa Goswami. Uh, and Manjari. Very good. Oh. Who was this Gopinath? Yes, he's a I think. Tandavad. Beautiful explanation. He is a very rustic. My sure. requirement is gone. He took everything from me. I don't know. I <laughs> forget everything. <laughs> 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 One thing he say I like very much. Listen from me. They are going to Avisar, Radha and Manjiris. How they talk Manjiris with Radha Rani. He say in Hindi also, in English he will say. Please listen, I like to listen that. Yeah, please. Say. Yeah. Because Gurudev likes it so much. Um, th there's one one pastime. Actually, two are coming now. One is when um, in Vilaku Sumanjali, after the Mangala Acharna verses are done, there is a moment when Radharani accepts 
Tulsi as her maidservant when she can enter into the direct service. And then she looks at Tulsi and she asks her, Oh, my dear Tulsi, why do you love me so much? What did I do that you love me so much? I don't understand. Come, I make you my maidservant, uh, my girlfriend. Then Tulsi says, I don't want your friendship. I want to be exclusively your maidservant. And then Radharani asks her, why do you love me so much? What is it? And here Tulsi's answer is so beautiful, Tulsi Mandri's answer. She says, the reason why I love you is that the day my Rupa Manjari, my Guru Manjari, put me at the lotus, at your lotus feet, from that day onwards, I cannot forget you anymore. This is the reason why I love you. And, and here it shows the clear way that Raghunath Das Goswami is following Rupa, uh, Rupa Manjari, Tulsi is following Rupa Manjari as a Guru Manjri, and that's also how we have to approach in our Swarup meditation, that we always follow our Guru Manjri. Jaiyo. And, and the other pastime which Gurudev is relishing, uh, which he likes to hear, is that um, in the night of Abhisar, Radharani, who's completely dressed in white, all her pearls, ornaments are white, and she's blending with the moon, is walking on the, on the paths, on the forest path. But suddenly she stops and starts shivering and looks around with her eyes, and she's very anxious. Her eyes meet Tulsi's eyes, and Tulsi says, Oh, my dear Swamini, why are you worried? What is it? Don't worry. I am with you. I am here with you. Go on. Go on, go to the meeting with your beloved Priyatan. If you don't go with him to him, then how will the Lila Ras unfold and how will we relish that Lila Ras? So it shows that how dependent Radharani is on her manjaris who were accompanying her for the Vilas Kunj. This is the past. Sadhu, sadhu. This is the so past. nice. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Kopinad. Wonderful. Any one question? Somebody has a desire to share a question. Something you want to share or something to ask with Tarun Baba? You can ask in Germany. Rade, Rade, Gurudev, if you allow, I would like to share something with all of you. And in the end, I like to ask you, Gurudev, a question about it. Uh, can you hear me? Is, uh, my, is my mic clear? Yes, yes, Gurudev. Ah, okay. Thank you. Same so German. I found a quote. Yeah. Um, I I found a quote from an American writer named Philip Dyke. He we refer to people who talk to God as religious and we refer to people to whom God answers as insane. Nice. When I can you repeat that? I, uh, repeat? Yes. 
Can you start yes, again? Yes, yes. We ref yes, sure. I found a quote from an American ah, writer yeah, named Philip Dyke, and he yeah. he <laughs> says we we refer to people who talk to God as religious. And we refer to people to whom God answers as insane, crazy. So I then thought, what about us? What about us as Radhika Vaishnavas in our family? So our dear... Govinda oh. oh. Prem, uh, we're so sorry, but our internet is uh, very unstable right now, so we couldn't hear anything properly. So sorry. Should I continue or no, to start again? Or st please. Start again. Okay. Okay, okay. So um, I found this quote and uh, this American writer say, we refer to people who talk to God as religious and we refer to people to whom God answers as insane. So when I read this, I thought, what about us in our Radhadasyam family? What about us? So our dear Guru Manjari has an uninterrupted exchange with Radharani. That is clear for all of us. But what if I say, for example, I take myself, Radharani told me in my meditation in the morning some very important point. When I tell you this, would you say, this Govinda Prem is crazy. That cannot be. <laughs> so in Shri Shri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 39, Shri Anantadas Babaji Maharaj explains the following in his explanation. There are three levels of viewing. Sporty means visions. V sporty is more alive than sporty. And Sakshat Darshana, direct vision. That is the real so thing. So my understanding, what, yes, my understanding, what I got from you, my dear Gurudev, is the following. Out of his grace and love for us, our Guru Manjari let us participate in his deep loving moods for Radharani. Therefore, and only because of this, it is also possible for us Radhika Vaishnavas to make realizations on these levels. In our Siddha Swarup, in our identity as Radharani's Kinkaris, it is possible for us to have an exchange with Radharani. And this exchange is completely individual and different for each of us. 
in accordance with our eternal seva, we can talk to Radharani. We can touch her. We can, for example, braid her hair. But we can also make realizations in our external consciousness to a certain degree. So, and this is only possible, and I repeat, this is so important for me, this is only possible through the grace and the blessings of our dear Guru Manjari. As I learned from you, Guru Manjari, and from Srila Prabhupada's books, there are three ways of sharing these realizations with other Rasika Vaishnavas. First, you can share some experience with many. Second, something you can share only with a few and close friends of the Vaishnavas. And third, some things you can not share with anyone except with your Guru Manjari who gives you these experiences and realizations out of his causeless mercy. So my question to you, Guru Dev, would it be in your sense if we are share these things in these meetings? Of course, of course, only in these three steps, in this frame. Or I'm just crazy, <laughs> like Felix Dijk says. So, what did you say, Gurudev? You have to repeat me. I do not understand in the tongue. Paul, can you give us give a summary? Yes. He is saying that um, one American writer, he is saying that those who talk to God, they are religious. And then he said those when God answers to them, he says they are crazy. So what Govinda Brim essentially is asking, is it okay to share here uh, experiences and realizations according to the mood? So he is asking you, Gurdiv, if, if this is okay to, to share here in this uh, uh, association. If Radharani speaks to him. If is speaking to him personally, if this is okay, if he is sharing this here in this assembly. Actually, everything is possible, Radharani can say, but we have to always see that Guru Manjari is there or not. If the Guru Manjari is there, then there is really, we are talking, instruction is coming of Radharani. And we are navigating, navigation is in right direction. And if Radharani is speaking, her goal only to talk about Krishna. She never deviates for other subjects. <laughs> she talk only and want to listen only about his love or Krishna. There is no other subject to her. Mm -hmm. So if there is only subject of Krishna is she is talking to you is a subject of Krishna to make happy. What is their subject? That to see that. No? If Radharani is sharing about Krishna, is Radharani sharing with Then you have to do first what she say you and then realize it 
is more keeping inside and practice that. If you share, you will not do it. If you not share, you will try to do it. So if the mercy will receive, you are receiving. So you are a great soul. And like you say about American writer, these are external things. If we write about Radhika, we don't need to read that. If we write for Radhika and Manjari Bhav, we don't need to read. We have to read in direct lineage what we are reading. My Guru Dev is trying to practice the mood of Rupa Manjari. Means Rupa following the Manjari who follow the Rupa Goswami. And this is my realization till now the books in English is only one book is available of Anandas Bhavani. If you deviate to read other books, means still there is missing point of your sarup is there something. So you have to only read for that, only in Rupa. <coughs> Rupa Manjari, Vilap Kusma Manjari for that. Only thing, you want to develop your Manjari vow, there is all things, it comes under this roof, uh, Vilap Kusma Manjari. I read all the books, all the things, and I conclude this, that this is Vilap Kusma Manjari, is not a PSD book. You cannot understand without passing your schooling, 10th graduation, master's, then PSD. After that, there is nothing left to us to understand. But that has to be very clearly, clearly, clearly to understand and clear in our mind what is the meaning of Rupa Nuga. Rupa Nuga means the follow the Mahajans who totally surrender, like Baba Ananda Maharaj our Siksha teacher and our Rupa Goswami and our Guru Manjaris and all we all together. Why this Sakti that we are together? Many not understand. But by listening and listening, one day when you will understand, my God, the day it will happen in life, you will get everything like a gift in your life. But this is the sadhana, that sadhana in sadhak deha. We, what we want to reach in siddha deha, we have to do practice in my sadhak deha. That we don't do. That way takes a long time to reach there. We do sadhak deha something else and we try to get the siddha deha something else. So that is not matching there. Our sadhana should be practice in sadhak deha to realize in siddha deha. By mercy of all of you, all they bless me to leave Vrindavan. I try to go more to understand the things I realize this way by sharing by the grace of Gurudev, Anandas Bhavati, and all of your association. I'm learning, I become a student to learn. And I'm trying to do some sadhana 
that I can meet, rely something in life before God. That has to do. And we have to do now. Now. And live in that. Then very easy. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you. Gurudev, yeah. I, I, there is one, there's really one very wonderful paragraph from Baba about this point. Um, I just remembered where Baba is quoting Thakur Mahashai about this uh, experiences and the realizations of the devotees in their hearts. It's in the in one tikka to Utkalika Valari, Mababa is saying in the verse, the words Ridi Mutritasya, Chvalata Bashpasya in this verse, which is discussed but is not important right now, mean that just as a powerful steam engine is able to move a big train simply by compressing steam, the power which is generated by compressing the urge of love within one's heart is able to move the engine of one's body rapidly so that it swiftly arrives at the lotus feet of the beloved deity. Therefore, uh, the point. therefore, give the, yes. no, no, one minute. Yes, sure. When the beloved deity is not fixed, it will never happen. The day I will fix myself, the goal is my beloved duty. Everything changed like this. What do you say? 360. 360. I know fix this. With my beloved deity. I was born in this family and I was fixed in nowhere. Sometime Hanuman devotee, Shiva devotee. I don't go formal, I go to see Radhamu. I have no relation with him. The day I got the mercy of my Guru Dev by his grace, he put me in the feet of Radha Mohan and he said, this is your goal. You fix this and things will change. And honestly, my dear, I do only one thing and the whole my life changed my realization changed and whole part and parcel of this temple automatic changes. One time I was doing in RT time because here no room was there with the toilet and water without water. I think that some room will be fine and some devotee will stay here. Family can come to stay. So I'm thinking to work some money I have. So I want to put on that. So I was doing an RT and thinking this, chanting mantra and thinking this. So mind is in the toilet, but body is in the front of Radha Moon. Radha Moon, sorry. Are you, what are you doing? Are you, still you are thinking toilet in my front. Think for me. Believe me, he said to me, think for me. Why you bother for the toilet? You will stop to make toilet and toilet will happen beautiful in his and from that day, I stopped to think that toilet, any construction, 
everything start happening huh? every room has a toilet and the nice toilet and everything i was making ordinary toilet and what about other thing because when there is missing only devotee is missing material thing is no value ke kam 16000 no material thing has no value material thing no value i see the life simple life i lead and i have only one car old car 10000 rupees very difficult my financial position got top position very difficult position but i never bother for anything and i was moving that time my goal was children education and i do this and that day i think that is over done i 100% offer myself in radha mun calendar calendar to radha mun my you see she is the prashant wife she is sick my elder son raja is sick but i believe radha mohan i know say to him why i will say to him this is not my job maybe they no feel the his family but it is his job to take care of him why my job why would say no i not say anything to him i love him i want to give everything of his happiness i don't bother love and full belief without asking anything to it this is the way of love always serve seva sadhak rupena always do the service with your physical body to respect that krishna is there all is vaishnava is a krishna this is assigning myself that i assigned i believe krishna then prabhu pase slowly 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 you will reach the ultimate goal you will reach the ultimate goal krishna is not a ultimate goal slowly slowly you will reach the ultimate goal prem prayojan the goal is to love and live in the loving exchange of that that the goal god is not a goal goal how to love you and how to live in your exchange of love how i can see in this body or if i have to leave this body and i have to go out to take other body uh, to you that i know where is my home to you right this is the goal of life
Tarun mentioned a very important verse from the Rotan Das Thakur's prayer. Sadhane bhavive yaho siddha deha pave taho. So this word bhavive actually is very important because it's not to practice anything. It's practice the bhav of our Guru Manjari, of yes. Rupa and Rati Manjari. Yeah. In our Sadhak Vinam. We yeah. have to take this bhav into our Sadhak yeah, bhav. Bhav means living in your mood. What is the bhav? My Radharani, Mahabhav. Are if I not get the bhav, how I will take the shelter of Mahabhav? I want to be a dasi of Radhika and I have no little feeling. I'm worried about cup and plate. What is this? I have to be with the feelings, not in the material who makes kaput to me whole life. Totally is kaput. What do the senses? What do my ego? If I am not realize I am always in the control of my, I have to do A, I will do B. And this condition is true. We have to come out from this condition. Come out from this. My senses are my condition. My body is my condition. My false ego is my condition. My material desire makes us out of being sorry. But I, uh, Gaurang, uh, Govinda Prem, please, uh, is, uh, internet is not good. What you want to say, write me and I will read and I will explain you what you want to know. Please give all details to me. It's good that everybody knows, but the internet is not making clear to me. But I know one thing very clearly. Mahajan Gata Sopanta. What our Mahajan move, that path, they realize it. And who is the American and Russian writers? They now realize it about this sadhana. So we have to read the Mahajanika Tasapanta who relies with this practice. We have to follow them. <laughs>